Well, let's stay focused. It's your boy, Tom 202. Good morning, everybody. God loves you, man. God, you know, I ain't playing when I say that. God loves you. Like, focus on God. Don't focus on all this other stuff and take it so seriously. Let's get to some sports, man. Yo, so I've been watching this Chris Bosch interview on First Take, I believe it is. And um, Stephen A. Smith asking some very, very good questions. Max asking some good questions. Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch talking about coming back. Now, <clears throat> the way I look at things, you know, I, I'm trying to pick up the pattern in basketball. You know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to get used to it because I don't watch the games, but I like to watch the pattern just to try to, you know, pick up on who can do what. We all know that Chris Bosch is a champion. <clears throat> Two-time champion. I know he's with the Raptors. I know he's with the Heat. And I think he's with uh, another team. But nonetheless, um, you know, he played with Bron Bron, right? Now, him talking about he coming back right now, I don't think that's a coinky dink uh, coincidence. I think it's, uh, you know, I, I think it's something that's written in the stone. Now, we all know that he was out because of blood clots. And I'm just like, the way blood clots work, you know, in my little knowledge of, you know, how they work and the damage they've done, you know, you can, you know, go up for a jump shot and come, you know, come down and next thing you know, you're talking to your maker because they can travel to your heart and then, you know, there it is. Well, that's why they said that uh, Chris Bosch was uneligible to play. <clears throat> now he's talking about, you know, he could possibly be eligible in March. So let's listen to some of this, because uh, I know Donald Gilbert likes when I play excerpts of other people talking, especially the people it's actually happening to. Yeah. So, so you're looking mm -hmm. to get, that, that based on what you're saying, mm -hmm. combined with the fact that you're training, mm -hmm. you're basically saying you're trying to come back next season. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, um, next season, yeah. I mean, they the roster spots haven't been filled this season yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, so... This season. Always a possibility. Yeah. Possibility March, this season. March is the final day. I, I said, no. I'm not thinking that you're trying to come back. Maybe you ain't playing all the game. What was your dream scenario? Like, after all the breakups, I'm like, what was your dream scenario, bitch? Yeah, that's a question. winning situation. Okay. All right, so there's that. Chris Bosch talking about coming back in March uh, because it's possible. Coming back by March because it's possible. Now, the, the way I'm looking at this is. For one, if he comes back, you know, what's his contract gonna be for? Is it gonna be a is it gonna be a one year deal? Is it I mean, is it is it <clears throat> all right, so let's just say he comes back. Let's just say he comes back and he actually goes back to the Raptors. Because Chris was talking about the Raptors can play with Cleveland. It's just like, yeah, they can play with Cleveland, but can they beat Cleveland? Uh let's just say you know what, skip that. Let's not even include the Raptors. Let's just say he goes to Miami and or he goes to Cleveland. If Chris Bosh comes back and decides to go to Cleveland right now, okay, to go to Cleveland. I know he's an older player. I know he's a seasoned player. They already had their run with D-Wade as an older and seasoned player, and that just didn't work out. So they got some fresh uh, – um, Younger players, more like it, in there. They got some players who weren't stars, who weren't asking for a lot of minutes. Nonetheless, if Chris went to Cleveland, uh, well, for one, I don't think he would go to Cleveland. I think if Chris came back, he'd either go to the Raptors or he would go to Miami. <clears throat> or, or he would go to L.A. Now you look at the pattern. Okay, so everybody thinks LeBron is going to end up in L.A. I th I was saying that he was going to go to New York first, and then he might end up in L.A. But people are like, nah, it's going to be opposite. He's going to go to L.A. first, and then he's going to end up in New York. Whatever, however it's going to go, in the end result, he's going to end up playing with Melo. LeBron is going to end up playing with Melo. This is my thought. Now, if LeBron can get Chris Bosh, you know, like, 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 uh, let's look at this. Would LeBron want Chris Bosh? And I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yeah. You know, if Chris Bosch came back, he would come back on a one-year contract every year. It would be the same thing they did to D. Rose. Why? Because of the injuries. Not because of his playing ability. Uh, 
D Rose, they was doing a one year contract, which was two some million, uh, simply because uh, he was injured, but nonetheless, he was once an all star. He was the MVP for the Bulls. So when you look at Chris Bosch, you're going, we know you want to play. We know you're not going to do a D Rose and then, you know, start the plan and don't show up and then we got to cut you. We know that's not your issue. We just don't know when something's going to happen to you. Not to mention, you're taking that responsibility as a team. If Chris Bosch, you know, if a blood clot catches up to him and he gets hurt and God, God hope it won't happen, he gets hurt because of it. Um, that team has is, is going to take the L for it and possibly get fined for it. This is why teams are staying away from them. But some teams are just like, you know what, just come back for a year. We think you can make it for a year and or for this year. So if a team really needs help getting over the edge, and that's why I mentioned Cleveland, if they need help really getting over the edge now that Chris has made this announcement, you know, would Cleveland pick him up and, you know, make a run? And it's not even for a whole year. This is just for the playoffs and then boom, you're done. Like sign him up for just the playoffs, pay him, you know, $2 million that D Rose isn't getting, like screw him, pay him the $2 million. He'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Is that possible? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. I think it's I think it's possible. Uh, Chris Bosh, he was like, listen, all I need to do is shoot threes. You know, a lot of people aren't playing defense. It's all about the threes now. We've seen that because the best backcourt uh, shooting team that blew uh, LeBron and his team away, Golden State, that's how they did it. They did it by shooting threes. So Chris is like, wait a minute. I don't even have to come in and go to the paint. I don't need to go hard in the paint anymore, Rocka Flocka. All I need to do is to stay outside and shoot the threes. He's like, I can do that. Even said in an interview, he's just like, look, I can do that. Let me see if he says it here. Um, I'm trying to come back, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to come back. Man, I see all these guys shooting threes and not playing defense, man. I, I got to get some of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean good grief. Yeah, what happened? You, you were criticized, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, you know, you get criticized. And you were playing defense. Yeah, you yeah. play defense now. It's like you shoot threes and you can whip on the screen and roll. 